Well, hello, my tubes, friends, and family. Um, today's book of the day are still the biblical, and these are a dollar a piece. And I will go through and tell you the dates and everything. And don't forget, everything is in the description below. And do not forget about my January birthday giveaways per week. Make sure you send me a postcard. You get the whole entire month of January because all the prizes will be mailed at the end. Every single Saturday, I will post a video for four Saturdays of the prizes that will be as the giveaways. So you can tell me in the comment section which one you want to enter. And I will put your name in or your postcard in for those particular prizes. So the first book of the day is called Abundant Life, the New Testament by Tyndale House and Publishers Incorporated. And don't forget, you can build a bundle on these and because I sell $2 or more for it to actually work in my Etsy store. This is copyright 2004. This is what the book looks like. So you can get a piece of paper and pencil and write down the names of the books and I can put them back for you to build a bundle and post it in my store for you to purchase if you're interested. The second book is called The Essential Catholic Handbook by Redemptorist Pastoral Publication. And the copyright is 1989. And then this book is what this looks like. It's got a little writing in here where some, like somebody took out their name. And this is what the book looks like. A little bit of earmarkage on the pages. But in very good condition. And then the next book is called Challenge in Conformity by Kenneth Scott and Latterette. Kenneth Scott Latterette. I think it's how you say his last name. And the copyright of this is 1955. This is what the book looks like. Sorry if I got to focus. A little bit of writing in this one. This is what the cover looks like, which is very different. Because it is an older book. And the pages are already aged, so it looks really nice for the crafting people out there. And it is the uneven type of pages, which I forget what those are called. That's the back of the book. The cover's got a little bit of wear in it. And the jacket. So that's that book. Next book is... Try Giving Yourself Away by David Dunn. This book is... 1947. Wear on the jacket, for sure. And then this is what the page looks like, or the book cover looks like. But you can tell it's older. I love the designs in these types of books. I'm going to do it. I guess I could do a front to back and writing there again. People that don't want their names to show. Previous owners. Some don't mind, some do. So you get a variety in my store. That's just my post it note. And this is what the back of this book looks like. And like I said, I will put the ISBN numbers below. And even if they don't, you can type a book into Google, the year and the, uh, the name and author, and it'll still come up. Now, I like the cover of this book because it's blue. This one here is called Overseers of the Flock by G.B. Williamson. And the copyright of this book is... 1952 and this is a first printing let me see here remember these are dollar a piece some that page had a little bit of a tear in it but for the most part this is kind of like that real thick soft paper and this was part of the jacket that was left what the book was actually about which is pretty cool and then we have The Quest for Life, which is by Mahara J. Karan Singh. I believe that's how you say their name. And the copyright for this was 1972. And there was only 5,000 copies of this. 
so I don't know if this was the first or not. It doesn't say, but the last one did. And excerpts from the letters, 1865 to 1971. So this is what this book looks like. And it was a library bound. And then the next book we have is, this is the New Testament, New International Version Bible from the International Bible Society. And the copyright on this one, I don't think it says. So this is what it looks like though. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, my phone's going out of focus. It's not like I'm using a camera. So this is what this looks like. And then the next book is called Reasons to be Glad by Billy Graham. And the copyright on this one is 1988. And this is what this one looks like. I think we might get a little sun today. It's been so dreary and rainy. I just wish our ground would dry up. It's so soggy to take my dog out to to the bathroom and such. <sighs> but anyways, Beyond the Barriers by Harold Morris. And the copyright is 1987. This is what this book looks like. There's wear on the cover. This is what the book looks like underneath. What the back of the book looks like. And maybe here later I might have a surprise video with a special guest, but we'll see. But anyways, this will be the first time I've ever had a special guest on my channel too. So we don't know how this is going to work out, but we will see. So I might have a surprise for you guys. Name is marked out again. This is what the book looks like. And then on this one, this is... Overcoming Hard Times Through Tough Faith. So we'll read the synopsis on this one since I didn't do the rest of them. Author of the instant bestseller, twice parted and subject of a film series by the same title, ex-con Harold Morris is well known for having looked adversity square in the eye. As a young man, he tra traded a bright future for the bright lights, but life in the fast lane ended abruptly when he was fingered for armed robbery and murder and mistakenly sentenced to a double life term at the state penitentiary. There, sandwiched between two killers on death row, he thought his life was over. It was only through extended conversations with loving friends and family members that he finally fell to his knees in his roach-infested cell and opened his heart to the Savior. And beyond the barriers, Morris now details how he overcame incredible barriers through tough faith indeed he talks about god and grace life and love as only an ex-con can in this in incidental look i think that's the word at life on both sides of prison bars morris describes a parade of hurting and heartwarming people by mixing large shares of bravado and desperado laughter and lunacy tears and tenderness the pages come alive with old grizzled convicts and young deserted orphans with tough acting teens and putty hearted toughs. Many of these real people, both young and old, have endured every human disadvantage possible, yet refuse to accept defeat. Through their lives, you'll see glimpses of your own. Through their hardships, you'll find answers to your own. Like Twice Parted, Beyond Barriers is a book that readers of all ages will pass on to friends. It is a book that will move you to tears and laughter more than anything else. Beyond the Barriers will move you to love. That sounds pretty impactful. I would have never guessed that's what this book was about. <laughs> but, you know, good one. Looks like a really good one for these day and age and times.
So with that, that are the dollar books of the day. And like I said, if you're interested, you just let me know. You can text me through Midna's Bookstore and more on Facebook through Messenger. And just let me know or the comment section down below. So with that, or you can even go through my Etsy shop under Tammy's Crafty Shop. It's all one word ran together and just get a hold of me and send me a message and let me know what you're interested in. So with that, thank you for spending some of your time with me and I will see you guys later. Bye.